Yo, what's going on guys? Today I want to go over this 20 ton press brake that I made for my Harbor Freight press. Stay tuned. I've had a few requests for just going over how this was built and, it, and it's very simple. First thing is I'm going to show you guys how this works. Here's, here's just an example of what this thing can do. This is a quarter inch, quarter inch thick steel by two inches wide. Just a piece of scrap I had laying around. I would bend something bigger, but this is kind of all I had. Let's see here. See that? 90 degrees and then some. You can't do that if this is just a 90 degree wedge. It just, it just, won't, it just won't bend that steep. Okay, so let's go over the dimensions on this thing. Okay, the overall width on this is 22 inches. These pins are roughly 21 inches apart on center maybe a little bit smaller, 20 and 7 eighths. These pipes are three quarter inch, three quarter inch black pipe. You know, NPT black pipe. The ID on these is just a little over three quarter. It's like 13 sixteenths. But there's, a, there's typically a seam on the inside of these. So you, you have to be careful uh, if you're, when you pick out your black pipe, make, make sure that that black pipe, the seam isn't protruding too far into there. Or you can get just some DOM tubing, okay? Now, these rods are three quarters of an inch in diameter. And they're nine inches long. They really don't need to be that long. These springs came off of a, uh, a cylinder, you know, an air cylinder for a uh, storm door. And this was basically one spring that I cut in half. See, it definitely pays to salvage crap. And I try to salvage springs from everything, from anything I can find because springs, you can always use springs. All right, before we get to the wedge, let's get to this part. This is a half inch piece of steel. It's two and a half inches wide and 22 inches long. I drilled two holes in here. That are the same diameter as the rods. And the reason for doing that is because if you just try to sit these square and weld it, they're going to warp and go all over the place. So I drilled a hole, brought them down almost flush, nice tight fit, and then I plug welded them from the bottom. You don't get any distortion that way. This angle iron here is an inch and a half this way by a quarter of an inch thick. And these are one inch tall, just uh, straight flat steel by a quarter inch thick uprights. Okay, that's just an angle iron. And then, you know, I completely welded them here, but you don't have to do that. You can just stitch weld them. Now, for the overall width of this thing, you know, the Harbor Freight has a newer model of the press, so don't, don't take this 22 inches length for gospel because it could be different on the newer Harbor Freight press. This wedge I made on the milling machine. Now, you don't have to do it this way. You can, um, you can put a, let's say, a half inch or three quarter inch piece of flat steel and you could either grind a wedge on it or you can weld an angle iron on it. The problem with welding an angle iron on it is you only have a 90 degree. This here has like 60, a 65 degree angle on it. 
metal always has a spring back to it. And if you just put a 90 degree wedge here, you're not going to get a 90 degree bend. So if you're going to weld an angle iron to it, make sure it's a very, very heavy angle iron and then try to grind, try to grind it back or find somebody with a machine shop that can cut a wedge for you on, on, uh, on their milling machine. Then there's just a receiver on here. It's just to locate the pin, the, the push pin on the uh, Harbor Freight press. And this here is just another, another piece of uh, black pipe, you know, inch and a half ID black pipe welded to the center of this. So that's basically it for the uh, press break. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to see another video about the modifications I did on my Harbor Freight 20 ton press, click on the video above. There's a, there's a lot of good stuff in there too. The Harbor Freight press is probably the best deal in shop presses you could find. And we can make them really versatile by adding some modifications to it. If you like this video, Please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Well, that was a no-go.